All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechach, Dash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and GMS. And I want to say peace and blessing unto the elect, all right? Um, I'm going to just go into a lesson today because uh, I was watching the apostles from some of their old videos and they, they uh, mentioned the book of Jude, okay? And um, they had started going into it. And the spirit had led him somewhere else, but uh, uh, nonetheless, I was edified, okay. And the spirit got on me to to get to do this lesson, okay. And the book of Jude is just one chapter, all right. It's just it's a short uh, epistle, okay. And um, when you have time, you know you can. Always go to the uh, pictorial, uh, the Zonovan pictorial uh, uh, Bible dictionary, okay? And it got uh, a couple of paragraphs on Jude, okay? Which are some good, it, it gets some good little uh, information on Jude, okay? Which Jude, all right, I'm going to read it. It says, Jude, the servant of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. And brother of James, which James and Jude, okay, were the biological brothers. And it also say that in the Zondervan, okay, that they were the biological brothers of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, okay. It says, Jude, the servant of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified, all right, cleansed by Yahweh the Father and preserved, okay. So there are certain men that are preserved. Okay, in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach and called. Okay, and this is talking about the elect. Okay, it says, Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Okay, beloved. All right, the elect. When I gave all diligence, when he gave all diligence. All right, what is diligence? All right, and I got it uh, here in the. Um, Random House Dictionary, the English language, the unabridged edition. Okay, the older the better. All right. Uh, diligence. Okay. Uh, it says constant and earnest effort. Constant. Okay. Perpetual, constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. Persistent. Exertion of body or mind, okay? Diligent. Appli synonyms are application, perseverance, okay? So constant and earnest, okay? Let me get the definition of earnest because I got that also. And this is earnest, all right? Um... Uh, earnest serious in intention okay what is your intention what is, what what's, what do you you should be serious about putting in this work this is what comes first okay because this is what's detrimental to your salvation man okay this is what needs to be done in order before our lord and savior returns man okay to build up that spiritual house okay are you doing your part are we we ought to be doing our part, man. Okay? We ought to be building up this spiritual house. Okay? Um, earnest, serious in intention. Purpose or effort. Sincerely zealous. Okay? Showing depth and sincerity of feeling. Uh, seriously important. Demanding. Are receiving serious intention, full seriousness, okay? <laughs> Synonyms, fervent. Fervent, man, okay? That's plain. It's, let me go back to Jude, verse 3, beloved, the elect, when I gave all diligence to write unto you, all right? What was he writing? This epistle, man, okay? And now... Like the apostles had mentioned, the epistles that we're pushing are electronic epistles, okay? 
what you see in the form of these videos. All right. Okay. And it's more than just getting your three lessons up. It's more than just hitting the highways and the byways, man. Okay. We to be building brothers up, edifying. Let all things be done into edification. Okay. So, um, we go back in Jude 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the com of the common salvation. All right. You got a precept right here. Let me see what this is real quick. That's a lot. See, it said, uh, let me see what this say. Okay, I'm not going to get that. But uh, anyway, let me go back. Jude th verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly, okay, because our salvation depends on us being on fire, man. That we're hot, okay, that we're building and edifying, okay. That's what we, what we signed up for, okay. That's part of this job. When you put your hands to that plow, that came with the job description, man, okay. We're supposed to be doing classes. We're supposed to be doing lessons, testing. Okay, going over stuff, going over the milk, building brothers up, man. Okay, that's what we uh, that's what we signed up for. It says, "Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you." All right, it was needful for him. Okay, so it's needful for us that we put in this work to do what? Real quick, Romans the fifteenth chapter. Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. See? Beloved, Jude verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly, okay, remember earnestly, serious in intention, purpose of effort, sincerely zealous, write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend, fight for the faith, which was once delivered unto you, to lock you, delivered unto the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay. Let me get a scripture. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, yeah, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. The most high would rather you just be cold, man. Instead of playing around with this. Okay? He would rather us be cold than to be lukewarm, man. Okay? So, be hot. Okay? We ought to be hot. Fervent. Fervent. Okay? Remember? Uh, oh, I might not got it yet. I think I... Cause I uh this is like the second time I've done this. Well, no, this is the third time I erased this and re-recorded. Okay, but um, uh, I will uh so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Okay, so we ought to be hot, man. All right, so let me get a couple of scriptures. Uh, and I'll go to this one first. All right, and this is First Peter, chapter two and verse five. It says, "Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Ye are ye also as lively stones." All right, 
Let's get the definition of lively. Let me mark that page too. And it's a cold definition, man. Lively. Full or suggestive of life. Full of life or vital. Energy. Active. Vigorous. Or brisk. Animated. Spirited. Vivacious. Sprightly. Uh, eventful. Exciting. Striking. Uh... Vivid, bright, bright, man. Uh, you're supposed to let your light shine, okay? Bright, sparkling, okay? Uh, bustling with activity, Whew. meaning being fervent, okay? Um, synonyms alert, spry, nimble, agile, quick, meaning alive, uh, buoyant. Uh, forceful, uh, brilliant, okay, brilliance, that's how you measure light, okay, by brilliance and intelligence, okay, let your light shine, okay, don't hide it under the bushel, a lot of guys know a, a, a lot more than what they let on, but they hide their talents, man, take advantage of the gifts that the Most High has given you, man, and put them to use, Okay, um, brilliant, glowing, okay, uh, an anonyms is dull and weak, dim, and that ain't what you want to be, dim light, it's light, but it's lukewarm light, you don't want to be dim, let your light shine, man, okay, we ought to let our light shine. Not be a dim light, okay? Be that beacon in 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 the uh in the storm, all right? So that ship can come back to shore, okay? God help guide the sheep back to safety, which is Yahweh Shai, all right? Um, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. And holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Okay? Lively, man. Okay? We got lively. All right? Um, it says to offer up spiritual sacrifices. The, the words that we're uh, speaking, those are spiritual sacrifices. Your body, you're presenting your body as a, as a living sacrifice, man. Okay? And it, it, it says acceptable, okay? Meaning it has to be pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? We ought to do the things that are, are pleasing to the Heavenly Father and His Son, man, okay? What, did, what was the Lord doing when He was on the scene? What were the disciples doing, which became apostles? What were they doing? What were the prophets of old doing, man? Preaching, teaching, building up the nation, man. Okay, how bad do we want to get out of here? We'll show that by our works. Okay, and it's more than again, it's more than just going out on the highways and byways and doing your, your three lessons. All right, the bare minimal. Okay, uh, building brothers up spiritually, you know, testing, uh, uh. Doing assignments, classes, you know, all these things, okay? Whatever you got going on, you got to put that to the side. We got to do this first, all right? We we we'll we'll rest and and have and have pleasure, real pleasure in the kingdom, man. Okay. Um, let me get one more scripture. Let me check that time. Cause I only got so much time, you know, recording like this. I'll be trying to make it fast as possible. Okay, so this is Ephesians chapter 2 and verse uh, 19. It says, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the heavenly Father. Okay, because we was all strangers. 
but we enter in through other men's works. Okay, men that were doing what? Being lively, being fervent. Okay, that's the example that we've been been shown. Okay, so we are to follow those examples. All right. Yes, follow men. Be ye followers of me. Okay. What happened? You forgot about them scriptures? Okay. Talking about them niggas. All right. Uh, verse 20, Ephesians 2 and 20 it says, And are built upon the foundation of the apostles, see there, and prophets, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. Okay. These were the, these the examples. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye are also builded together for inhabitation of the heavenly Father through the Spirit, man. Okay? So this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Building up this spiritual house, man. All right? And we were built upon this foundation. And this is the examples that's been set, man. Okay? Um, let see something... I want to get the definition of edify too before I get out of here. And this is a uh, edify, which is what we're supposed to be doing. Let all things be done into edification. Okay. Romans 15 and 2. I just you know it just came out through the sphere. Uh edify to build up or increase the faith, morality, etc. We're supposed to be building each other up, man. We're supposed to be building brothers up. Okay. To build up or increase the faith, morality. To build brother's faith up, man. Oh, man, that's it, you know. I love to hear when, I love to say that myself. I love getting understanding, man. I love when I, when the spirit worked through me and I hear brothers say, oh, okay, yeah, con. That's a beautiful thing, man. You know, to know that a brother is getting fed. And you doing your part, man. That's a beautiful thing. Okay? I'd rather hear them words than, than the words of any anything else, man. Okay? From these, these damn people, my the woman I deal with, my, my children. I'd rather hear them words come out of a brother's mouth. Oh man. That 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 make you feel good, man. It should. And that should, should motivate you to be more on fire, okay? To know that you're edifying and building up this spiritual house, man, as a lively stone, okay? So that's it, okay? Um, I had some other stuff, but um, you know what? I want to bring out the definition of diligence, too. All right, so let me get this and I'll end it on this. It says, constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. Persistent. All right, and if I did bring it out already, so lock you, but so what? It's just coming out again. All right. Constant and earnest effort, man. All right, and that's it. Okay, constant, earnest all right, earnest effort, man. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, there was edification in, in this lesson, okay? And uh, I'm going to end it right there, all right? And uh, again, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachachodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of GMS, all right? Uh, and I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. All right. We almost out of here, man. Okay. We at the end. This thing is over. It's basically over, man. All right. Because the word done went out and the son of perdition done been revealed. All right. Through the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, Bashem Rakak uh, servants. Okay. The prophets, all right? And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.